Rosiris Avila begins her day transporting heavy buckets of water. Despite the physical effort it represents for her, she says there's no other alternative to guarantee water at home in Venezuela's capital. Along with her neighbors, she regularly comes to this communal well installed by the municipality. Water is like God, because without water, we can't live. Without water, how can we survive? The community of Bucaral in Caracas has been suffering severe water shortages for several decades. In this neighborhood, there's running tap water only once or twice a week, and usually just for a few hours. We don't have running water Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, until Friday afternoon. Five days without water, and it's been like that permanently for 25 years. Now, with the well, we have regular water that we need to carry, but it's been a solution. The water crisis has affected all parts of the city, from low-income neighborhoods to the more upscale areas. To tackle the shortages, the municipality of Chacao has built a total of 23 communal wells over the past five years. The water supply in Caracas has dropped dramatically, mostly due to lack of maintenance on pumps and pipes. According to a recent report issued by the NGO Monitor Ciudad, Caracas residents spent more than 60% of the time without reliable running water during 2022. Amid the scarcity, water businesses are spreading across town. At this store in Caracas, bottled water is carefully treated in order to provide clean and safe water to customers. In Venezuela, bueno. In Venezuela, we know there are difficulties to get a regular water service. For some people, it is harder than others to get, and not everybody has the space or filters for the water, so it is easier and more accessible to come to this type of business. But with a monthly minimum wage of less than $10, most Venezuelans cannot afford to pay for bottled water. Marlene Gonzalez, another Bucaral resident, says her only choice for now is to carry water from the well to secure her daily needs. It's because of that well that we have water, and we look for water every day. It has been difficult, but otherwise we would have to go uphill to collect water. The municipality has promised that the well will be connected to the main pipeline to transport water directly to their homes. Meanwhile, Marlene is hopeful for a time when the water flows from pipes again. Maritrini Mena CGTN, Caracas.